Hey guys, James with Tech Said Life, and today we're going to be making an automatic chicken water out of this bucket, this float valve, and these water chicken cups. Um, so let's get to it. We got tired of hauling around those huge heavy waterers, so we got the system off of Amazon. It came with everything we needed to get this set up, except for some half inch PVC pipe and a bucket. I'm not 100% sure that we needed the PVC pipe primer and cement because there isn't really a whole lot of water pressure going through these pipes, but I figured it was better safe than sorry. If you haven't messed with the primer and cement, it's pretty straightforward. Put the purple primer on for at least as far as the pipe will fit over it and then you let it dry. Then you put on the cement really the same way. When you connect the two pipes, you turn it a quarter of the way to make sure there aren't any gaps anywhere. Hold it for a few seconds and it should hold itself in place pretty well. Make sure you get the correct primer and cement for the type of pipes that you use. This is the closest water spigot to our chicken coop, so I got the splitter so we can still use the hose while letting the system run. Here I am just testing the splitter to make sure that it works the way that I expect it to. Connect the new hose to the other side of the splitter and then run it over to the chicken coop. don't really want to dig under the fence because I feel like that will just invite other animals to do that as well. After we get everything in place, we're going to go back and bury the hose to protect it a bit from the weather. We're going to use the included drill bit to drill the hole for the float. Attach the float, which is pretty easy, using the included rubber gasket on each side and then a screw on cap. Tighten it down real good to prevent any leakage. And finally, connect the hose connector. Drill in the hole for the outlet to the water cups. Same thing here, we attach the outlet to the bucket using the rubber gaskets and the screw on cap. Add on the connector for the PVC pipe. everything all nice and primed up. We are connecting this T so that we can run some of the cups on the inside of the coop and some on the outside, that way they always have access to water. everything glued up and connected. Mark a hole where we need the pipe to go inside so that we can drill it. I just reused the drill bit for the bucket. It's not really made for metal, but it gets the job done. Attach the pipe for the outside of the coop. Make sure that you do a quarter turn for the cement. The 
This pipe is going to be pretty heavy, especially when it's filled with water, so I add this clamp here to help hold it up. The water cups just screw right on here, so I just added some Teflon tape and then screwed it right on there. a little helper holding that pipe on the inside of the coop while I add cement to get it attached. And here we are getting it all filled up. The water will fill the cup and then when it's heavy enough it will close the spout so that it doesn't overflow. Here you can see how the float valve works. When it fills up enough it just closes itself. The chickens were surprisingly quick in figuring out how this works and they were drinking from it within a few minutes of it being installed. That's all for this video today. Drop a like and a follow if you want to see more tech and homesteading videos.